Hi everybody, this is solving a definition of derivative problem using the four-step process. It's actually quite awesome, very easy once you get the hang of it. So let's start over here, and I'm sorry, this is I'm just filming this on my phone, so I'm going to capture other parts of it, but using the pen I will uh, uh, try to show you a little bit, Yeah, try to point exactly what we're looking for. Okay, so my problem here was to find f prime of x, let me actually zoom in a little bit, when f of x, oops, it's a little bit blurry, zoom in. Focus. Ah, oh, what a shame. There we go. Sorry. Find f prime of x when f of x equals 3 over 2x plus 1. So the first step that we're going to do is replace wherever there is an x here with x plus h. So we're going to take 3 over 2 x plus h plus 1. And then we factor this out. Uh, sorry, distributed this out, it equals x, uh, sorry, 3 over 2x plus 2h plus 1. That's step number one. Very easy. Step number two. Now, step number two involves taking this uh, x plus h fraction that you just got here and subtracting it, subtracting it by the original problem that we got here. Okay? So this is wh what was given to you. And you take that and subtract it from this x plus h that you just solved over here, okay? So, let's take a look. 3 over 2x plus 2h plus 1 minus 3 over 2x plus 1, which again is the original uh, uh, problem that you were given. And what this equals is this fraction over here. What you're going to do is leave the bottom untouched, okay? You're going to multiply, you're going to get this, and how do I get this? You're going to do it this way. 3 times 2x plus 1, which is right there, minus 3 times 2x plus 2h plus 1. And you see it's right over here. And you leave the bottom, these two denominators, just bring them over. You know, you're not going to do anything, just bring them over. So you have that. What's the next step? Well, it's to distribute and solve. And what do you get? You get 6x plus 3 minus 6x plus 6h, uh, minus 6h minus 3 over, uh, you know, these two things that we got over here. So we just brought them over here, okay? So now we have this. Now we have this. Now, as you can see here, I've already kind of sort of uh, gone... I've already did this problem, but it's a great way to explain it. You're going to cancel everything out. You're going to cancel as much as you can. You're going to cancel this 6x with this 6x, and you're going to cancel this 3 with this 3. So what you're left with is negative 6h over 2x plus 2h, plus 1, plus 2x, plus 1. So the denominator is still the same as you got over here. That doesn't get touched at all. So you just leave that there, and now you have minus 6h over 2x plus 2h plus 1 times 2x plus 2, 1. Okay? Now, the next step of the four-step process is taking this fraction right over here and actually putting it over h. So it's actually going to be a fraction this is the numerator part over here, over h. Now, we don't want to do any of that silly, you know, it, it sounds convoluted, it sounds different, but this is what, difficult, but this is what we're going to do. You're going to take this fraction over here, and you're going to multiply it by 1 over h. Sorry, guys, I uh, focus, lost focus a little bit over there. Let's try zooming back in. Mm, what a shame. Where did I get this 1 over h? It's from this. The denominator h is just going to equal 1 over h. We turn this into this for simplicity, and so we can cancel out the h in this numerator. Because when we multiply this, we cancel both these h's, and we're left here with minus 6 over 2x plus 2h plus 1 times 2x plus 1. Perfect! Perfect, perfect, perfect. The last step, the very last step here, guys, is finding out the limit. f prime of x equals the limit as h approaches 0. And what do you do here? It's super simple. Take this fraction, just write it down over here again, and plug 0 wherever you see an h. That equals this. Negative 6 over 2x plus 1 plus 2x plus 1, or negative 6 
over 2x plus 1 squared. It's that simple, and this four-step process was taught to me by Professor Catherine Roche, and this four-step process can be used on any single problem. I feel so smart right now. I, I, I had a quiz on this. I failed it because I did not study, but friends, in less than 45 minutes, I finally got this in my head. I finally understood this. Get some practice problems on Paul's online notes, find some practice problems from old quizzes or something, and solve them. It's very simple. Again, the four-step rule, again. Replace x plus h with every x in the problem. Subtract that newly x plus h you got from the original. Keep on distributing. Finally, put this over h, but instead of putting it over h and solving that, just turn h over 1 over h, multiply, h cancels this, where does the 1 go? It just multiplies with the denominator, so it stays the same, and then find the limit by simply replacing the limit, which is 0, go into 0 with every h in the problem there. I hope I was clear, I hope this is clear for you, leave a comment below if you're a little confused, but good luck with calculus.